what makes a scenario bad. And uh, for that, the approach that uh, that I found uh, was that, that I wanted to show you a, a bad scenario and, and basically fixing that scenario step by step using these principles. And so that uh, by doing that, you will you will basically see how these uh, how these principles can be applied. But when I was sharing my my plan with the family and my lawyers, they said that oh that's uh, that's a kind of risky area because the the healthcare system is anyway overloaded now and uh, and uh, we don't really know what happens if people are seeing really bad scenarios. So. Uh, so, so maybe what what I should how I should start this is a is a some sort of disclaimer. So, if you are in a bad health condition, you don't think that you will survive a really bad scenario, then just turn away for a minute. I definitely my insurance will not cover any kind of injuries that uh, that will caused by this bad bad scenario. But if you feel that you are up to the task, then uh, then I still can ease your pain uh, by. Uh, by, by providing some nice music for that. So basically, in the next uh, half half minute, uh, 30 seconds, you will be able to see this bad scenario, try to read it through, and then we will be ready for uh, for reviewing that or having a discussion of fixing that. So let's start the music. I'm just was just trying to some find something very calming and relaxing. The scenario is now starting, and you can start watching. <laughs> Okay, we are done and hopefully you are still here. Uh, some British scientists have measured that in BDD related webinars, if you are showing a bad scenario for more than 30 seconds, then people will uh, will turn away, but hopefully we are under 30 seconds, so you are still here. So, so yeah, this is a very bad scenario and probably you, this is not a scenario that you haven't seen uh, yet. So probably you have, uh, maybe hopefully not in your your own organization but maybe at least on 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 the on the google you have probably seen such a bad scenarios and even i have simplified this a little bit uh, to be able to fitting to my screen right now it uh, it is 27 lines and i don't know how many was it uh, before I, I i made the changes so let's let's consider this scenario and let's try to fix this scenario um, uh, to see to see these principles but uh if you if you think about this, so you are now reading through the, the scenario and probably the individual things you have understood, so that you are clicking a button, typing something into a text box. But if you consider this entire scenario as a whole, then you will see that uh, this is a, a little bit like a gambling machine or something like that. So it uh, just uh, sometimes it turns re green, sometimes it turns red. But definitely, we have absolutely not 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 an idea, no idea of what what it is for. So probably only a few of you have discovered that actually this scenario was uh, was somehow providing a flow, a workflow uh, for a Stack Overflow like uh, application that you can see on the screen. So this is a uh, this is what this scenario was uh, was showing. This scenario is not really a scenario in a in a classic BDD sense, but it's more like a script. And uh, the problem with that is that maybe this is serving as a test but even as a test it's not really a good one because it's uh, it, it is it is probably very brittle, brittle but what we said that we in bdd we also want to document and understand the requirements and uh, and and also to get feedback from the business uh, about that but these scenarios are absolutely not good for that uh, they will not be able to give feedback or they will not give feedback uh, for these kind of uh, scenarios even though that may, they might understand the individual things like click and fill, they will not have that kind of understanding and they will not be able to get, give that kind of feedback that you really want to. So in some sense, this is a trap. Uh, and many BDD teams were falling into that trap. And I think this is the top one uh, uh, reason why, why BDD projects are failing because uh, for the first look, it, sounds like easy because you just you can just write a scenario like that and it just sounds easy even the business can understand that if you are clicking here clicking there then you finally uh, uh, see a, a message on the screen but it's absolutely not scaling and uh, and uh, and as as you have more and more uh, scenarios like that you will not they are just they are just eating your your energy and uh, and will not provide any sort of value 
So, so we are, we will in this in this webinar we will we will try to fix this particular scenario. But obviously, uh, you should not do that in not you shouldn't do this in, in that way. So you shouldn't do first a bad scenario and then fix it. But it's much uh, better to do it uh, immediately, immediately, right? So let's take this more like a kind of educational purpose or something like that that uh, that we wanna uh, do right now. 